All right, how does this sound? Music seems to be very whack. Hello? Oh, you know what? I'm going to myself up. Hello, what's up? Uh, do I need to do this? Are you talking, Bill? Hold on, hold on. I think, yeah, um, there seems to be some problem with the, with the sound, so I think I'm just, I'm gonna need to turn this music off again. Uh, mm. well, that's fine. I can tell you're talking, but it's so faint, I can't understand what you're saying. Hold on, let's see. It sounded fine to me when I was listening to my own stream. Uh... No, I think there's some weird going on on my end. All right. Um... I I turned your volume all the way up, and now I can hear you. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um... One second. I better uh, make uh, notifications everywhere uh, that the stream is starting. If you can, you can go ahead and um, get things ready. Can you can you hear me all right? Oh yeah, I can hear you just fine. Oh, wait. Talk talk again. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Now you're now you're much louder. And for some reason, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Don't don't ask, don't ask me to understand how Discord works. That's not what I want. I want to do this. I don't want video. This is creepy. <laughs> All right, um, posting on MGS server as well, I guess. Um, right, and I can go ahead and share your screen, and, make, and this should work just fine. One second here. Screen, and, make, and this should work just fine. <laughs> We're a little bit slow to start here. It's like in like five minutes. All right, let me... Um, Are you broadcasting now? Yeah, let me bring that up. Okay. All right, I think this is going to be good. Just need to switch over. <laughs> oh, no, though, that doesn't look correct. Oh, no. How did this get messed up? Um, well, I can move it. I can just change the X value here. Let me... <laughs> oh, boy. Is this is gonna be this is gonna look kind of wild? Um, oh no 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 no! This is I'm I'm doing the wrong. Oh god! Oh well, I guess we're having some technical issues here. What what is happening, Bill? I uh, I'm just sh I'm I'm sharing the sc your the screen on Discord. Previously, it was lined up exactly correctly. Now it's a little bit too far to the right. Um. So I need to uh, fix this. Need to change this quite a bit. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A little bit tricky here. Okay, that's too far. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why this. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, this is really like not ideal. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just try this, mess around with this a little bit. I think actually yeah, a little bit more. I guess that's okay. Like there's some space on the right, but I guess this is okay. I mean, this this will be functional at least. Um, okay. <laughs> um, sorry. Do we, do we want to get started? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we're gonna cover uh, Richie Book One, Chapter Three. We got some nice informative panels here. Um, and we can do a, a tiny bit of review of these shapes here. Um, like previously, if you saw the last stream we did, we went over some basics. One thing that we talked about was these different blocks, the Gyanmen and the Kanchan and the Penchan. 
and we said like, okay, if you're talking about really, really basic efficiency, the best kind of block is a two-sided block, like an Anui's hand here, like the the four five uh, is a Yanmen block, and that would be better than anything else. Then you have the Kanshan, like that two four uh, or the seven nine. Those are Kanshan blocks. Those are worse than Yanmen, but they're better than Penshan, like the one two, like the one two mon over there on the left. So you want to keep the Yanmen ahead of everything, and then you want to keep the Kanshan, and then you want to keep the Penshan. Very very basic efficiency. And you want like at least one pair. Like if like if you're just talking about the most basic efficiency, you can kind of sum it up that way. We're going to go a little bit deeper this time. But yeah, just to give some review, different kind of shapes, Yanmen, Kanchan, Penchan, Yanman greater than Kanchan, greater than Penchan. Okay. Uh, but in chapter three, we go a bit further than that. Um, these are on top of each other a little bit. So we have these uh, basic weights here. Let me actually go save that for a little bit later. I want to talk about the these um, saving little tiles for efficiency and also the number of pairs you should have because we talked about like, okay, we want to have at least one pair. Um, ideally, uh, if you just want like a basic guideline, you could say, well, you should aim for two pairs. And we could talk uh, in detail about why that's good. But I think if you're just getting started and you want to like, get better efficiency, you can say, well, if I have two pairs, then that's better than having one pair. Um, and don't really have to go any deeper than that if you're like still learning the basics. But what it says in Rishi Book 1, okay, if you, if you have a closed hand, you want two pairs, more than one pair. But if you have four pairs, that's greater than three pairs, because then you could go for toy toy or, or, or chi toy or something. Um, but the ideal number is two pairs. But if you have an open hand, then you could have three pairs. Because, and that's just like in this hand, um, Anui has the Haku. Or that white dragon could call that for Yakuhai. Uh, and that means that having three pairs is fine. And in fact, um, Anui has four pairs, sort of. But the, the, the four, four, five, five, six actually doesn't really count as a pair. It's more like two, two sequences. And really, this, this, this shape here is kind of complex. But you, would, you wouldn't normally think of those as those as being pairs because they're more like in, they're inside sequences. Um, so that yeah, um, I mean, there's there's ways you could think of them as pairs, but yeah, like we're like we're kind of taking it in very basics. When you have pairs inside the sequences, you tend to not think of them as pairs. Um, the other thing, save tiles towards the middle. Okay, not just Dian Men greater than Kanshan greater than Penshan. A Dian Men towards the middle is better than than one towards the outside. Um, and a uh, and specifically the Kanshans towards the middle. Are better than the ones towards the outside. Well, really, I guess um, this is not. So when I said Yan Men towards the middle is better than Yan Men towards the outside, that's not what this box says. It only says it for Kanchans, because if you had a Dian Men two three, you don't really need to add anything onto that. And when we talk about gathering tiles towards the middle, the reason you do that is like if you have a three five compared to like the like the two four, there's a lot of ways that you can upgrade that to a Dian Men. If you have a three five. You could draw the two or the six, and then you would change that into a Dianmen. Like if you draw two, it's a two, three. If you draw a six, it's a five, six. If you look at the two, four, there's only one way to upgrade that to a Dianmen if you, if you draw the five. That's kind of basically why you prefer tiles towards the middle. It allows you to kind of develop your hand a little bit faster if you have uh, tiles towards the middle, either like isolated tiles towards the middle or, um, or these Kanchan shapes towards the middle. Like if you have an isolated three through seven, that gives you a lot more possibilities to, to upgrade um, into nice shapes compared to having a two or an eight. Because like if you have a three, you could draw like the one, two, three, four, five in order to upgrade it into a shape. Whereas if you have a two, you can only draw the one, two, three, or four in order to upgrade it into, into some kind of shape that is either a, a Dian Men, a Penchan, or a Kanchan, one of those three kinds of blocks. In Honor Tiles, you can't get any kind of anything but like a pair from those. So just thinking of like the most basic efficiency, this is kind of like breaking it down. You want tiles towards the middle. Um, you want to have two pairs if you if you're keeping your hand closed. If you have if you are going to open your hand, then having more pairs is okay because you're just going to pawn stuff anyway. Very 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 basic approach to efficiency. If you if you kind of get this down, you have a very good start towards understanding efficiency. Um, you got, you have any 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 comments on any of that, Anui? Anything you want to tell me? I'm an, I'm an idiot about or anything. Um, no, I just feel like the stuff about 
Mm -hmm. tiles that are in the middle being easier to improve will make more sense towards the beginning of a hand than at the end. Right. And th and that's and so that 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 comment leads really well into talking about weights. Um so we have these basic weights. So you have the Dianmen shape, which is like a 2-3. You can also talk about a Dianmen weight or a two-sided weight, which is if you have 2-3 you, you're waiting on the one and four. And when we say a weight, often we're talking about the final weight, like the weight that you can win off of anybody on a, on a run. Um, so if you look at the Yanmen, like the example here is the two, three, it's waiting on the one and the four. And that means that it accepts uh, eight tiles of two kinds, assuming that those haven't been discarded. If you see some of them discarded, then maybe it'll be few, fewer total tiles that, that are like available that you could win on. Well, there's so many Dora in this hand. <laughs> um, Right. So like if you're talking about the final weight, like as you get and, and this is another comment I made earlier, like we don't really care about Yanmen being towards the middle. Like it's OK. Like the two, three is actually better than the five, six uh, in, in a certain sense, because if you end up waiting on two, three as your final weight, you're going to end up waiting on the one, four. And you kind of prefer to, to wait on tiles towards the outside just because those are more likely for the uh, the opponents to drop. Because like this is kind of like a tricky logic, like they're going to be keeping the middle tiles for efficiency, um, and so they and they're more likely to be used in their hand. So it's harder for the, those tiles to come out. But tiles towards the outside are, are um, end up being better to wait on. Um, and also, in in a sense, you, you may you may worry that someone else is is, is setting up a, a weight like that because that's one of the better weights. Although, but still, generally, um, generally you, those will be safer. But we we're, we won't really talk about safety. That defense is like a later topic. But right, um, so we have that Dian Man weight, and we have the Shampon, which is waiting on two pairs. And and this looks like a hand that could end up with a Shampon certainly. Uh, and actually, you're one away from it from a Shampon on on the four five. That may happen. Uh, uh, no matter no matter what I draw, I'm going to end up with a Rian Man weight. Um. What was that correct? If I if I draw. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. I guess if I drew the three peen or six peen, yeah, I would end up with Shampoon. Right? Yeah, I thought if you got the three six, you would end up with it with a with a Shampoon weight. Yeah, if Anui gets the three pin or the six pin, we'll drop that five pin and end up with a weight on the four five, which would be Shampoon. But if Anui draws the three mon or the six mon, uh, it could drop the 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 uh, four pin and end up with a with a three six weight or a four seven weight. One of those two Dian Min weights. Um, right. So that's the Shampoon. Which we see here. There's also the Kanchan weight, which, which we can't really get here. But but I mean, uh, why do why do I say Kanmen? <laughs> that's a little mistake here. I say Kanmen twice here in this panel. I didn't catch that. That's such, that's so that's so dumb. Uh, it's Kanchan block, not Kanmen block. <laughs> can't believe I can't believe I missed that. Okay, Kanchan is a one sided weight on a Kanchan block to complete a sequence. The example here is. Um, uh, given in this is in the, up in the panel here, the six uh, eight mon uh, Kanchan shape waiting on the seven, and that accepts four tiles of one kind. And back to the, I didn't say this for the Shampoon, that it accepts four tiles of two kinds. So both, of the, so all three of these are accepting. Um, well, the first two, the Dianmen and the Sham and the and the Shampoon both accept tiles of two kinds, but the Shampoon only accepts four tiles total because four of the tiles are in your hand. Like if Anui gets away on the four five. The four four five five is here in the hand, and so uh, there's only four tiles left to win on. With a Dian Min, none of the tiles are in your hand, so you can you can accept eight total tiles so long as they haven't been uh, discarded. Um, and then and then the Kanchan, it's just waiting on the middle tile, but it's a tile that's not in your hand, so you you accept four tiles of one kind. And then the Pinchan, similar to the Kanchan, is just it's a one sided weight on the on the Pinchan block. I can't believe I made that mistake. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing to me. Uh, just when when you're when you're going over these, like you don't notice this kind of stuff. Um, you need someone else to look at it to find these mistakes, um, or apparently to do it like live, then you'll find them. Um, but yeah, the penchon, a one sided weight, uh, like like a seven eight waiting on a nine. That's that's and again, this is not correct. <laughs> it would be an eight nine waiting on a seven. This is in the wrong order. This is a diamond you, weight. <laughs> you very obviously copy pasted and got burned a little bit for it. Yeah. Yes. 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 I made. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I did this too quickly. 
Um, I really should have gotten someone to check. I, I guess I can't really get. Well, to be fair, Anui, I posted this on Discord. You could have corrected me. Um, so this if is, you don't really, tag me, I'm not gonna read it. So really, this is your fault. <laughs> this is all your fault. Okay. Um, and finally, you have the Tonki weight, which is a single, which is a single weight on a single tile. Um, we could we could get a Tonki weight here on like the Haku. Maybe it'd be it'd be kind of hard to um set that up. Or a single weight on the Dora. So a single weight can actually be kind of good because um, you could set up a single weight on, on any tile you want and you can switch it with any tile you want. So it could be kind of a reasonably good weight, usually not as good as like a like a Gyanmen weight, but it could be a lot better than even like a Shampon. Um, but generally, the way that we would kind of rank these um, weights is that the Gyanmen is greater than the Shampon. Um, not necessarily greater than the Kanchan, but the, the Kanchan is be definitely better than the Penchan. And again, the, ta the Tanki is not necessarily worse than any of the, the these three above it. Um, it. It's a little bit harder to rank the weights um, because a Shampon um, can be kind of bad if you're like if you have like a Shampon on two pairs that are very unlikely to be dropped. But I think very broadly, you could say Dian Men greater than Shampon, greater than Kanchan, greater than Pinchan, and then Tanki being kind of its own special thing. Uh, does that sound okay to you, uh, Anui? People argue about Shampon versus Kanchan mm -hmm. quite a bit, so right. like I wouldn't, I wouldn't stick to that with too much fervor, right? But there is a sort of intuition behind it, especially to begin. Right. I feel like, I, okay, I feel like the reason you can say Shampon greater than Kanchan broadly is because often it'll be in like an honor tile, one of them, or like a terminal tile, tile will be one of them. In which right. case, like I, I think it is. A, a Shampon where one half of the Shampon is the North, like mm -hmm. waiting for the North to become a triple, that's right. a lot better than, say, a Shampon where the sixth is something waiting to be a triple. Right. But if you're just giving sort of, if you're giving RB1 Chapter 3 advice, I feel like it's kind of okay to say Shampon greater than Kanchan. Um, because broadly speaking, I think it's either going to be kind of equal to it or it's going to be better. So you may as well say it's better <laughs> in, in a general sense. Um, and one, one more clarifying piece of information. Whenever Bill says kinds of tiles, mm -hmm. what, so kinds would be like specific what? <laughs> okay. All, all right then. Um, so like that—that that was a shampoo weight. So like the two kinds of tiles they could win on was the two peen or the haku. So that is the two kinds. Right. There were four total tiles they could win on mm -hmm. because there's two two peen left and two haku right. left. Right. Yeah. This gets kind of confusing because we're talking about eight tiles, but it's like, what do you mean eight tiles? There's only two tiles. So you have to be very specific about what you mean by this, <laughs> and it can be a little bit confusing. Um. But right, so um, yeah, these are the basics. Uh, we, we covered the basics of shapes and weights. Um, and the next thing we want to cover is getting into like the more complex, the complex shapes and the complex weights. Uh, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to stop us because we are we are going over this kind of, kind of quickly. Um, and I think it, it would be fine to just to step back and answer some questions if there are any, or, or to co cover something again, if it should be covered again. And I'm just leaving this up for as long as possible just to show off my, my errors here. <laughs> okay. Um, so one, <laughs> uh, one thing that I think is very useful. So this isn't in the chapter, but I, I think that this is a useful thing that I don't hear people talk about, which is the method to calculate Shantin. And this is just the method that I use. Um, and that is you count the number of blocks in your hand, the way that we talked about blocks, Penchan, Kanchan, uh, the Anmen pair. And you count the number of completed blocks, including pairs. And then you can use this little chart here, if you can remember this. <laughs> um, if you have five blocks and you have one complete block, including possibly a pair, like if you have a pair, if you have five blocks and one of them is a pair, but, you, but none, nothing else is complete but the pair, you're three away. If you have two complete blocks, you're two away. If you have three complete blocks, you're one away. So that's if you have five complete blocks. Like in this situation, counting Anui shapes, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's at least six blocks. There's at least five blocks here. Um, and, if, and in fact, Anui was Ishan 10, we can see. <laughs> we didn't quite get the chance to check. 
Um, but yeah, this is, so th th this is just a, a, a way you can check um, how far away you are from Ishantin. And yeah, it, it is correct that you don't really need to know. <laughs> I, if, you're, if you're more than three away, then that's very far away. <laughs> Um, I think it is useful to know if you're three away because three away can be very close to being two away. You could have a good three away. At least a good two away, at least a good one away. And often, I, I, I have four blocks here as well because often you'll have four blocks. You might have four blocks and like three complete shapes if you have like a really weird hand and then you'll be, then you'll be two away. And it'll be like, what, what the heck is up with this hand? I, have, I, I, I don't have enough blocks, but I have three of them being complete. It's very weird. That it happens. It does happen sometimes. But yeah, there's just a little method to calculate Shanten um, that um, is something I kind of learned on my own. No one really taught me how to do this, but I think that it's very, very helpful. Uh, okay. Does that does that seem correct to you, Anui? Does, does that seem like it would be helpful for for a newer player? A, a side note. Oh my god, mm -hmm. <laughs> this this player on my left. Um, a a side note would be that. Mm -hmm. For the purposes of counting blocks here, Bill is including the pair. Like yes. it says that in the little the little type out, but a lot of people don't always count the pair as a block when they're talking about Shantan. So just to make right. sure that Bill's being understood there, right? And yeah, and, and when when we go into another game, I want I, we we can we can do this, and and we can do it a bit later as well. Just practice counting the Shantan and show how it's done. Um, and it'll also get easier when we do chapter four, which covers like breaking the hand into blocks, because it may be kind of counterintuitive how you break break a hand into blocks um, at this stage, which makes me kind of a little, even a, a little bit hesitant to introduce this method. But I think that even even without really knowing, um, I, I, it's kind of intuitive to know what we mean by a block, right? So um, counting, I think it is important to introduce counting blocks mm -hmm. alongside talking about specific shapes, mm -hmm. because whether you count a shape as one block or two blocks is going to be based on how many blocks total you have in your hand. Right. right oh, I'm first dealer again. So how many shapes does Anna we have here? We've got a Kanchan 5-7, Dianmen 7-8, then, uh, then uh, Dianmen and a Kanchan, so it's 1-2-3-4-5. One of them is a pair, so there's one complete shape here, and there's five blocks, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we know that this is two away. Look, using this chart here, five blocks, two complete. Or well, hold on, it's only none of them are complete. complete. The, the the pair is complete. The pair counts, so it's it's uh, three away. Uh, yeah, three away. <laughs> yes, I, I confused myself a little bit there because, I, to be honest, I I usually don't count the pair as a um, as a completed block, but I feel like it makes a lot more sense. To, uh, to count it as one when you're when you're explaining this, um, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, raising is, is is correct. Like, yeah, just count count the number of blocks you have, and you basically have the shantan at that point. Like, it's easy to see how many of them are complete, right? So, if if you if you understand this chart, like, you can you can do it in literally like five seconds, um, not that hard, and then you can keep track of it as you go. So yeah, there's an example. We we can do do some more of this later on. <laughs> yeah, the pair is important to count because sometimes you don't have one. That's correct. I still don't do it because I'm just a dummy. Um, <laughs> no excuse. And, <laughs> and this is where how you determine what your blocks are can be important because mm -hmm. like this seven seven eight eight that I have here. Mm -hmm. Like if we count our other blocks, we've got the pair wests, mm -hmm. the two three four so. The mm -hmm. five five six mon, and then the six eight so, which were previously in my hand, were very obviously independent blocks. Right. So the seven seven eight eight can't be just one block. So I had six blocks and I only want five. So I discarded the the six eight so because right. the seven seven eight eight is right. Well, to me, better than the six eight. Right. And this notion of wanting to have five blocks is something that we'll talk about in the next chapter a lot more. But yeah, that's that usually, yeah, if you have more than five blocks, you usually want to get rid of one. So the next thing we want to talk about is um, complex shapes. We want to finally get into complex shapes. The first thing, thing is uh, three tile complex shapes. And I don't think we have an example of a, of a Dian Khan here, do we? Um, no. No. I tried, I tried to create one and it didn't come. We do have these uh, run plus ones, um, which is what I just decided to call them. We're not going to say proto run. <laughs> Um, 
basically like uh, examples of that are we have one example here the five five six that's a run plus one you have the five six and then another one on there the five which is equal to one of the tiles that's, that's inside the inside the run and these are like really nice uh, efficient and flexible shapes because they have the option of either becoming a triple, becoming a pair, or becoming a, a complete run. So they can perform a lot of different functions in your hand. So like this extra five here is kind of fulfilling a lot of different roles and not taking up much space in your hand. So that's what makes these shapes so good if you have the room to keep them in. And that's one reason why we talk about like wanting to have like five blocks is that you can have shapes like this. You can improve your shapes using these run plus ones. Um, and similar like nice shapes, nice complex shapes that we're going to talk about. And a note here that is very counterintuitive. When you're choosing between two run plus one shapes, you want to discard from the stronger one, which is like if you have this five, five, six, and you had another and, and you had another run plus one shape that was like, suppose that we had the seven, seven, nine pin, then you would want to discard the five mon rather than the nine because the five, six is already good. The, the Dian Man shape is already good. Um, and so like, uh, you, you want to, to discard from the, from the strong area rather than the weak area, which is, yeah, very, very counterintuitive. <laughs> yeah, it does, it does make sense. It, like you can build intuition for it, but I feel like when you're actually playing, <laughs> you don't want to discard the, the better, the better block. Mm-hmm. Um, right, so these are the, th the three tile complex shapes. Do you have any comment, uh, Anui, before we move on? Um, no. <laughs> okay. I'm not a fan of what's happened with my hand, but oh. I kind of set myself up for this. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, as, like, I was just trying to, since I had good shapes, I was just trying to call my hand to try and end it before anyone got to Tempai mm -hmm. to preserve my dealership. <laughs> but the tiles the tiles i needed were or not mm -hmm. in the wall or other players discards it happens <laughs> i just wanted to close but the I, panel down i did see. that to myself it's only east it's only east two it's an east game this kind of sucks but um you just you'll just you'll get you'll come back it's silver room it's fine yeah not not all of the shapes were good but there were good shapes in the hand and now i want to step back um we talked about these complex three tall shapes, and I feel like that leads in well into talking about perfect one away. Um, and perfect one away is defined. We can we can define it concretely. It's a it's a it's a one away hand, a one shanten hand that has two dianmen shapes and two pairs. Um, and similarly, we can define a perfect two away as a two shanten hand that has three dianmen and three pairs. And you could go even further with the perfect three away. <laughs> which um, I think is kind of like sketchy in terms of whether it, it can even exist. Um, but yeah, the, the, the nice thing about these hands, which is that they have really nice acceptance because they have these run plus one shapes in them by their definition, because, because you've, you're demanding that it be one Shantan and it has two Dianmen and two pairs, that necessitates you're going to have a shape like this where it's like, okay, you have a pair over here, the 7-7, seven, seven, and then you have like a 5-5-6, five, five, you have like a run plus one shape in there. It has to be the better version of it. It has to be the five five six in order to get another Yanmen in there. So you're squeezing these pairs and Yanmen together to get a lot of flexibility in this uh, Yishan Ten, this one Yishan Ten hand. Um, so like if we look at this at this perfect one away, uh, if we um, if we think about what can actually get us into Tempai, so if we if we draw the 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 four or the seven so we can just drop this five off and we'll be in in Tempai. If we draw another another five so, or if we draw another seven mon, if we draw another seven mon, then we drop the the, the five so. We're waiting on the four seven. If we draw another five so, we drop the six, and uh, at that point we're waiting on the uh, the the two five. When did I screw something up? Um, I think I did. Guys, if we if we draw the seven mon, we we drop the six so, and we're waiting on the two five. I'm sorry, I. I um, yeah, yeah, because I, I I postulated a situation where we wouldn't have any um we wouldn't have any pairs. <laughs> yeah, if we draw the seven mon, then we drop the uh, we drop the six so, and we're waiting on the two and the five pin. Okay, yeah. Well, we're, but, but the point is is that uh, there's a lot of ways for this hand to get into tempai because you have you're you're giving yourself many different pathways to different uh, different tempais. 
by using these nice flexible shapes and squeezing them, squeezing in, them in there just perfectly. Um, so yeah, like we say here down at the bottom, they have great acceptance due to the overlapping pairs and the Dian men. And also you're, it's natural to get this kind of shape because you're keeping these nice shapes in your hand. And so it's not like you have to like aim for a perfect one away. It just happens. Um, you, you could sort of aim for it, but if you're doing that, it's because it, you're, you're doing something that's good, like efficiency wise anyway. So yeah, this kind of kind of just illustrates the usefulness of these shapes in a nice way, and also gives you uh, gives you some way to concretely say, okay, this is a nice Ishan ten to have. Um, do you want to do you want to talk about the San Minchan in my hand, Bill? Oh, <laughs> oh, five. Okay, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, three sided weight. Uh, we we haven't quite gotten there yet, but I could bring up. Um... I mean, it's here, <laughs> right? <laughs> You, there's two ways to, to think about this. You can think about it as a complete 6-7-8 run, in which case this 4-5 needs to be finished, and it can be finished with a 3-mon or a 6-mon. Right. Or you can think about it as a 4-5-6 completed run, mm -hmm. and it's waiting to be finished like that, mm -hmm. so now we have 4-5-6 and then 7-8-9. Right. So that's right. where we get the 3, the 6, or the 9. Right. So Not, no pin, <laughs> because I had a green dragon. Right. So these complex weights are going to be com combinations of base, like getting a three sided weight. You're going to get that because you're combining two different kind of weights together with the, with the, the, the San Minchan, you're squeezing together two different Yan Men weights. You have like, like in the, in the, in the panel here, because the hand is gone now that, that Anu had, we have the two, three, four, five, six pin. There's two different ways we can view this. Either it's a complete four, five, six, and then you have the incomplete two, three waiting on the one, four pin, or you have the, um, the two, three, or you have the two, three, four complete and the incomplete five, six, in which case you're waiting on the four, seven. When you add those weights together, you get the one, the four and the seven. So the different kind of complex weights you get are from combining together the di different kinds of more basic weights. Um, and up here in the panel, we also see these triple plus one weights. Uh, where you have a, a triple and then a tile next to it, uh, like you have a three 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 four, and that's going to be a combination of a tanki weight with another weight, and that's why we call them the dianki, the kanki, and the penki because it's a dianmen plus a tanki, a, a kanchan plus a tanki, or a penchan plus a tanki, and these 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 show up pretty often. And why don't we why don't we um, go back to those in a bit? Uh, get a little preview of those. <laughs> uh, but before that, let's talk about the uh, the four tile shapes. And yeah, yeah, Bra Bragg making the, the the comment that yeah, you 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 need to not have a pair in your hand, or else um, those are not going to work for you, um, because the um, it, it's using two of those tiles as a as a pair, or else using a single weight. If you have a pair, then then that doesn't not, that's not going to work out either way. Um, and Raisin making the uh, yeah the same comment yeah triple plus one does not work if you have a pair yeah you yeah absolutely you you need to um not be using a pair or like draw a triple or draw a pair into a triple or something um if you if you um end up using that as your weight but they do I think they do show up fairly commonly as far as complex weights go complex weights in general don't don't really come up too often okay um. Got the now. Next, we want to talk about the four tile complex shapes. Getting into the good stuff here. So we have uh, three different things here. The first two are kind of similar. The uh, nobaton or four in a row. And actually, nobaton isn't really the correct name, but we're we're kind of like um, we're we're ignoring the difference between the names that that describe shapes and that describe your final weight because we're not Japanese, so we don't want more Japanese terms. <laughs> Um, I think this is a common thing to do. We just say nobaton. We don't we don't refer to the hidden. Some people do. Yonden K. Let's just pretend I didn't say that though. Um, so the nobaton, the four in the row, and the nakabukure. Both of these are a complex weights where you take two dianmen shapes that are right next to each other and think of them as a single shape. <laughs> oh, and hello, vanilla. My day is is very good. I don't think we have an example of a Nobaton or a Nakabukure here. Um, so maybe we can come back to this later on when we actually see oh, an example. Not of this. that person. <laughs> I didn't want them to deal in. Oh no. But um 
these these are very nice shapes, the Nobutan and the Nakabukure, um, which they take four tiles. And so they're very efficient in terms of not taking very many five tiles and giving you a lot of possibilities because you can just drop a single tile from these and it'll be, and it'll be a, a run. Or you can keep an extra tile and it's just one extra tile in your hand. So they're very efficient and flexible and nice. And I mean, there are two Dianmen shapes in your hand, which are very good. Um, if you want, if you want to kind of like go fishing for better shapes and stuff, you if you have a bunch of Kanchan shapes in your hand, they're really good to have. Um, because if you draw into one of those Kanchans, well, just drop a, a tile from it. It's fine. Like they're just they're they're just like a nice little gold nugget sitting in your hand, especially if you need to develop it a lot. Um, First dealer again. <laughs> And I think we still don't see any um, of these complex shapes, Nobutan or um, Nakabukure, or the skipping shape. Skipping shape is kind of just a, a, a small comment there. Um, but yeah, so just broadly speaking, yeah, like these, these are shapes that are better to have earlier and when you have a worse hand. And as you get towards like Ishan Ten, you may want to get, you may end up wanting to get rid of them. Uh, it's very common to uh, get rid of the, the Nobutan or the Nakabukure as you get to Ishanten or into Tenpai. The Nakabukure especially, you don't want to take all the way into Tenpai because you'll end up with a really, really bad weight on the middle tile. Like the example here, the 3, 4, 4, 5. If you take that into Tenpai and you get a single weight on the um, on the 4 in the middle because you, you, you have all complete shapes and then you have the 3, 4, 4, 5, you end up waiting on the, 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 the bulging middle tile. Or it's a, it's like a, a tonky weight, but you only but you're missing a tile from it because it's in your hand. So it's really bad. Um, but yeah, they're, generally those are very nice shapes. But you have to to be wary about um, about keeping them in favor of like if you already have a lot of strong shapes in your hand, then they're not nearly as good. They're only really good when you have like kanchan and stuff in your hand. Um, right. But yeah, I think I want to, we don't have, well, we have a six, six, seven, seven, eight here. That's a Nakabukure. And, um, but, <laughs> so in this case, but it, but it's not because you have six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, it'd be strange. I mean, there is, if you squint, there's kind of a Nakabukure there, but I don't, I don't think we would consider yeah. that a Nakabukure really. Well, it, yeah. Oh, that sucks. That would have been nice. Okay, <laughs> well, that's garbage. Yeah, having a bit of a rough game here. Wow. Cool. Okay. Dealing into the seven seven on hand. So I think we've we've actually covered most of what we wanted to cover here. Um, we, the, the last thing is going over these complex weights, and I wanted to to talk about these complex four tile weights when we have an example because they're kind of important. Um. But yeah, let's go. Let's the last thing that the last panel that we haven't shown are these complex weights that are a bit more complicated. And like we were saying, all these complex weights can be described as combinations of simpler weights. And these 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 weights here are less common, but you still see them come up fairly often. And the first one I have here is the antotsu, uh, which sounds like a fencing term or something. But that's basically where you're combining a Dianmen with a Shampon. So you have a shape like this, two, three, four, four, four. You have uh, a triple and a Dianmen like combined. That will often give you this Antotsu shape where, okay, you can win on the one or the four or the east because you can either treat it as a Shampon on the four uh, on the four in the east, or you can treat it as a Dianmen with the with the fours as a triple. So whenever you have this two, three, four, 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 you're likely to have an, an Antotsu. Uh, the next one is this, what I call a long nobaton. It's a three-sided tanki weight. So you take you take two nobatons and you smush them together. So you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you, what this happens, what this gives you is a, a three-sided tanki weight, three single weights. So either you have, you can think of this as as the as the as the, as the, the runs two, three, four, and six, seven, eight, waiting on the five as the as the single weight, or a single weight of two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or a single weight of eight, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, because when you have these like eight, eight in a row, or seven in a row rather, you can get this three-sided tanki weight. And the final hey, one. <laughs> hey Bill, you might want to. Well, never mind. I, I was gonna say. 
my my hand had a lot of interesting complex shapes in it but <laughs> no longer oh well I, yeah I, was, I got too busy talking about this yeah i think once you finish this panel maybe no more information and switch to mm. like just looking at the things in context right yeah yeah yeah. we can and we can and also if there's any oh there, there's a lot of stuff in chat that i think i'm missing oh no i'm not i'm not i'm, not, I'm, not. I'm seeing i'm actually seeing it pop up because i've got the the, the, the the twitch screen open here which i usually don't don't have yeah the, the the final thing the very final thing that we haven't covered is the uh, the long Ipeco shape, which is what I call it, which is the uh, a, a double shampoo. So if you have uh, the Ipeco shape would be would be two two three three four four. If you have two two three three four four five five uh, and a pair somewhere else, then you can get a, a combined shampoo weight where you can win on the two or the five or the one. All right. So um, because because you have this because you have the Ipeco extended just a little bit. You end up uh, getting two two possible shampoos combined, and this also is pretty rare to come up. But I I have seen it before. I mean, I have gotten it before. Um, so these are, these are not really that important. They're just kind of fun, really. I mean, than... the long the long Ipeco shape came up in the first game. Oh, did it? <laughs> I yeah. feel like more. I feel like on Toads it comes up more than anything else out of, out of these three. Um. But I mean, but I, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt to know them, certainly, but I don't think they're very important at, at this level. Um, but yeah, re regardless, it's fun to know. OK, so let me close these down and we can um, <clears throat> start trying to look for stuff to talk about in the hands themselves. We've kind of covered all of um, all of chapter three. Um, was there anything I kind of skimmed over? I think I kind of skimmed over the four tile weights because I said it, we were going to wait for them to appear. But, but that's fine. We can wait for them to appear. Um, but yeah, but let's just look at what, what we have in this hand and go back to the beginning. So we have a, a Kanshan, four mon, six mon, and then we have a pair three, three, or the three, three, five is a, is a run plus one shape, which is the, the three, five plus three run plus one. Then you have the seven, seven, eight, nine, this is a complete seven, eight, nine. And then like a seven X or the, this, the three, five, seven is a Diancon. Dian, Diancon, a nice, uh, efficient shape. Three tiles that it that accepts about the same as, as a Dianmen, because if you have the three five seven, you can accept the, the four so or the six so, um, and, and to complete the shape. The, the the bad thing about it is that if you take that all the way to tempai, you can end up with a with a kanchan weight. So so uh, it's it's they're they're better when you have them towards the beginning of the hand rather than toward towards the end. And we also have the um, the haku, and this can can become a honitsu. One away from that. Oh, we've got quite a lot of people here. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? So we've kind of reached a point where we've covered all of the material for the most part. There's some stuff we haven't covered that much because we haven't seen it come up in hands. But we've we've showed all the panels. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, Yes, Brig is, is is correct that the, that you can set up a sushi trap, but we aren't we aren't covering that yet. We'll get there. Yep, I'll be a lot more talkative on the de on the defensive streams. Yep. Oh, that's uh, Tempai. <laughs> but uh, I think Anu was hesitant to take that because it's, it makes it a, a two Han hand. Oh, and Chris, Crisis Cannibal wants to know where, where does baby come from? We, I have no idea. All I know is Mahjong. I know where tiles come from. I probably should have just cheated <laughs> so I could still win on the Haku, but... Oh, you know, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I mean that that that's fine. Like you, like that uh, that shampoo weight, including the haku, is good. There we go. Oh. I do feel like when it gets this late into the hand, it does kind of feel like the haku isn't coming out. Yeah, it feels like two people have the haku, mm -hmm. which is called mochi mochi. It's very fun. Oh, oh God, Churin. Sure in. 
All right, so um, we do have a, a triple plus one shape here. This is the eight nine nine nine. So if um, you ended up not having a pair, you could end up with the with the uh, the pinky weight on the seven eight, the seven eight mom. If I want to bring up the um, the triple plus one, the the pinky like the like the 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 eight nine nine nine. Uh, we see here one 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 two pin. The eight nine 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 is the 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 version on the other side. Instead of waiting, because the two, eight three. nine is your pinch on, mm -hmm. the nine nine is your tonky. Right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's not. I meant to discard the green dragon, but whatever. <laughs> And as we said before, like if you have a pair, if you have a pair in your hand, then you're then you're not going to be able to get that that triple plus one weight. And at present, Anui doesn't have one, so it may happen. But I mean, it's not it's not exactly the greatest weight, but it's, be it's certainly better than just the just the penchon weight. And I guess we do have a Nobud Han here technically on the, the one, two, three, four, four in a row. But um, unfortunately, like the one, two, three, four is the worst kind. It's still technically a Nobutan, but instead of being a pair of Dianmen, it's a Penchan next to a Dianmen. So the acceptance is not nearly as good, but it does have some usefulness. And drawing into the Penki before Tempai, <laughs> that can happen. We're one away now, right? We're we're two away from nine gates. <laughs> and that's all that matters right now. You're you're gonna absolutely head for I guess I guess you are kind of um you might say memeing a bit on this um in, in this in Silver Room, trying to get San Kansu. <laughs> the only the only issue with nine gates is I'm pretty sure the player on the left is going mm -hmm. for Kokushi. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so they might have the one mon I need. But right. if we both got Tenpai, then there could theoretically be a double run on Yakomon. Right. So you need you need a one mon and you need a seven mon, right? And a five. Oh, the five. <laughs> five. five. <laughs> but you're not gonna go. You're not gonna go for the plain old Shinitsu. Plain, plain old uh, Mangan Shinitsu. And maybe this could be a good time to <laughs> shoot. If people are unfamiliar with Yaku, um, I, I, I imagine like if you're not familiar with Yaku, maybe you have, have, have gotten totally lost at this point. But we do have <laughs> these, <laughs> these nice Yaku panels covering some basic Yaku. Ooh, <laughs> that, that looks scary. Um, oh God, the South looks I've, scary. I've got a feeling that the that the the, the Chura and Poto is not um, happening here. You you cut that nonsense out right now. Uh, I, I really don't want to discard, discard the seven feet. Right, so. um, right. We're, we're mawashing the Turin. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I feel we, do, we have to wait till the next hand before we can talk about complex shapes because this, is, this, is, this shape is too complex to talk about. How many sevens is that? One, two. Is that the third seven, I think? Mm. I've got two souths. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Churin. <laughs> it never came. <laughs> I don't think it was actually possible at this point to get it. In fact, I'm certain it's not. That's the closest I've ever been to nine gates, though. Weren't you still two away, or were you one away? I was two away. Okay. I, I never got closer than two away because I needed a one, a five, and a seven. <laughs> I do want to see how close the Kokushi got, though. I'm going to jump in the log real quick, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think what time is it? Kind of taking a little intermission here. Sort of. It's it's almost uh, it's almost six. It's five fifty three. Um, 
you got a while because uh, Anui has to go do some ARML games a bit later. Yeah. <laughs> and we really we really just wanted to to spend a little bit of time talking about complex shapes. We don't really have too much to cover. Oh, hello, the last the last one, seven and five were all in the dead wall. <laughs> Badge. Yeah, the Coke the Kokushi was nowhere he was nowhere near ready. Man, these East games are blazing fast. It's very nice. Yep. But now that now that we've covered like all the material, now would be a great time to ask questions if you see them come up in the hand. Also, just as a note, like I do not have by any means perfect efficiency. Mm-hmm. So I am playing less as like, hey, do what I'm doing efficiency wise and more so that we have active examples that we can discuss. Right. Yeah, and I think we don't have anything here. We do have a hold on. I mean, we have a pair. We have a we have a a run plus one six seven seven shape, Yanmen, and then a bunch of like flo- floating tiles. Another pair, so two pairs. The 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 ideal number of pairs. No, we have we have three pairs now actually. The the the, the uh, worst possible number of pairs. <laughs> it doesn't really matter at this stage in the hand. This hand is garbage. But um, what the. Oh, sorry, my it, I I got really confused because my thumb was touching a tile, and I pressed somewhere else on the screen. And it don't don't worry about it. Oh, Rachel, well, has a comment. Four pairs. Four pairs is better than three. <laughs> I mean, we have this 6677, seven, which has come to my hand several times today, right. where you can think of this as two pairs, or you can think of it as two Rianman shapes, like a 6 and a 7, and then another 6 and a 7. Right, right. Which is actually something that Rigi Book 1 explicitly discusses. Right, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a very, like, it's a very inefficient shape. It takes up a lot of space in your hand, but it can also, um, it can also upgrade very quickly. It's in a way, it's kind of like the opposite of the Nobatan or the Nakabukure, which doesn't take up much space. It's very efficient, very flexible. It's a very inflexible, inefficient shape, but it can still be very good if you draw exactly the right tile. And um, Anui drawing next to the next to something in the middle, upgrading the uh, five six, turning the five to a five six. Yeah, and and raisin, ooh. and raisin saying like two two pairs tends to be better than three pairs, but if you're not close to tenpai, those mm-hmm. pairs can still turn into triples. Like here, right. I kind of have four pairs, kind of just have two. Right. But if I drew like a six mon, I would have three pairs, but I wouldn't want to discard them yet because the one like they're still better to have those pairs than to have this one mon in my hand, right. for example. Like, yeah, I mean, when we're talking about um, the value of pairs, we're kind of assuming that you have something other than garbage in your hand to begin with. Um, because when you're looking at what, what, what has value in your hand, like you need to have more, more valuable stuff to be able to say like, oh, you need to start getting rid of your pairs. Let's see, do we have... Um, yeah, we don't really have... Anything complex, we have the, the 556 five, run plus one shape. We have a bunch of pairs. We actually have five pairs here, right? That's what I that's what I was trying to gesture at with with my tappy my my, my, my tippy taps. Yeah, we don't have um <laughs> five pairs is not mentioned on this on this panel, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yes, yes, Raisin's saying don't don't say you want you you shouldn't have three pairs. <laughs> you better cut one if you are like way away from Tenpai. It's more something that starts to matter when you're two Shan Ten, one Shan Ten. If you're like three Shan Ten or more, I don't think that having three pairs is really um that big of a concern. But like if you have isolated tiles and um terrible and like trash honor tiles and stuff to get rid of, like why would you drop a drop a pair? <laughs> Yeah, and this is 
This is um I'm we have a skipping shape. I'm not gonna keep it for I'm gonna keep it for the sake of the stream. <laughs> yeah, um, skipping shape. Yeah, we haven't really talked about those. Um skipping shape. So it's a run combined with the floating tile. So we have the 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 four, six, seven, eight. And there's I'm gonna, I'm gonna discard it in favor of the Nakabu great. The nice thing about the skipping shape is basically that you can draw on, on the other side of it. So it gives you, it's a little bit better than just like a, a floating tile. So like that, that four so that Anui just got rid of would be better than just like a, like a, like a floating like two somewhere or something like that, um, or a floating middle tile somewhere, um, because it connects to the shape in such a way that you can get upgrades to it. Um, so yeah, just but just here a, mm -hmm. we still have the Nakabukure. So right. <laughs> like this is this is where counting your blocks. Oh good. Uh this is where counting your blocks is really interesting. And I actually don't need this anymore, but mm -hmm. like I have the two three is a shape, the pair of sixes mm -hmm. is a shape, the four five peen is a shape, the six, seven, eight is certainly at least one shape, and then we have a pair of E's. Right. Since all of the shapes in my hand are really good. This seven so isn't actually doing much for me anymore. Like before, I was hoping that I might draw into this Nakabukre, maybe draw like a five so, mm -hmm. and then the seven eight so would replace my eight nine pinchon. That was a really bad shape, but right, yeah, because like we were saying before, when you have a lot of good shapes, you don't necessarily need something like the Nakabukre because it's better when you have um, like a lot of Kanchan shapes and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, it, it gives you those. It, it allows you to to turn the six, seven, seven, eight into two, com like one complete block and another incomplete Yanmen when you draw into the middle there somewhere. There's a lot of shapes that you can draw, or a lot of tiles you can draw to turn it into like uh, a, com a a complete run next to an incomplete run, compared to just like having a Kanchan. But if you already have a lot of good shapes, you don't really need it. And looking at how you calculate um, Shanten. If you're counting the six, seven, seven, eight as two blocks, then that's going to mean that you have that you don't have a complete block there. So, so like if you actually calculate your your, your shanten, it could be that keeping that seven is is going to be a, a step back. It's going to reduce your shanten because you're not thinking of it as a complete block. Um, so you need to keep that in mind. And and specifically, if you're talking about the six, seven, seven, eight, what actually draws into that? If you like, you draw into either the six seven or the seven eight. The six seven accepts the five and the eight, and the seven eight accepts the uh, the, the six and the nine. So it's like, uh, hold on, <laughs> it's um, it's like hold, uh, <laughs> the six seven accepts the five eight, and the the seven eight accepts the six and the nine. So that's four tiles. And four kinds of tiles. Four kinds of tiles. Yeah, po potentially 16 tiles total. Hold on. I feel like I've just gone brain dead. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you're talking about a shape that no longer exists in my hand, so it's right. kind of hard to visualize. So it's the 5-8, and it's the 6-9. So it's going to be the 5-6-8-9. Those four tiles. And you're talking about the 6-7-7-8. Whenever, whenever you have a Nakabukre, think of it as mm -hmm. you can't accept the very middle tile of the Nakabukre except as a pair. Mm -hmm. If you're creating two runs, you can accept two tiles less than the middle tile, two tiles greater than the middle tile. Right. And and Brig made a good comment that yeah, it's not sixteen tiles; it's fourteen because two of those tiles are actually in the in the shape itself. Yes, it's not it's not quite sixteen. It's it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of tiles. <laughs> They, it's a lot of tiles considering it's only four tiles in your hand. It's great acceptance um, for, for a small number of tiles. That's what we mean by it's a very efficient shape. And by saying it's a flexible shape, we mean that, oh, you can just drop one tile from there at any time and draw it down to one complete run, and you're done with it. Like, you can, you can just drop that seven from the middle anytime you want. Mm-hmm. Got an early yeah, for anybody, for anybody who's trying to learn stuff watching this stream, there's currently, we'd only think of this hand as having one Kanchan in it. Mm -hmm. I'll That's give you a second to, to think about what that Kanchan would be. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, anything. It could be anything at this point. <laughs> Has it been long enough? <laughs> yeah, it's been long enough. Yeah, so the Kanchan is going to be the four pin, six pin. 
and we have so we have the Dian Men three four and then the six six seven seven eight eight. That that's two complete runs, six six seven seven eight eight. And then um Anu, we just drew it and completed another run. So on the on the in the montiles we've got three complete shapes. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. And um yeah, just waiting just missing a pair. Now Anui is thinking about whether to drop the Kanshan or um or 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 keep a keep a shape without a without a pair. <laughs> Which we do call This is um, this is have you talked about Arian men? No, I don't want to say the word Adyan men. <laughs> okay. Um because that's not mentioned in, in RB1. Um, Fair enough. Oh god. <laughs> that's fine. You want um you want the Ipeko? The seven mon the seven mon was fine to accept it in my hand. I'm not keeping it for safety reasons. <laughs> okay, well, now we get the um I think this is actually a, sort of a complex weight that uh that we didn't mention. Oh god. We're waiting okay. on the two five, but we have two of the twos in our hand. So it's kind of like it's like a half half Dion men weight because we have two of these tiles. I forget what RB1 calls this. Unfortunately, I didn't actually um include it. I forgot to include this one. <laughs> but we can call it like a half Dion men, I guess. So it's exactly the same as a normal Dianmen, except you just happen to have two of the tiles from, from the Dianmen in your hand already. They're your pair. Um, and it just gives you, instead of waiting on eight tiles, we're waiting on six tiles. Six tiles of two kinds, because two of those eight tiles are in our hand already. We've got quite a, quite a few people in here. I wonder, I wonder if we got raided or something. I don't think we did. People just want to learn. No way. <laughs> oh no. Oh I, I feel like God. I feel like your your ranked games on these on these learning streams are just cursed. My hand was so wildly val valuable. <laughs> <laughs> Pinfu, Ipeko, all simples, Dora. Yeah, we're not getting too many um too many complex shapes. I don't I don't think we necessarily need to because um we're going to cover chapter 4 which is going to be a lot shorter in terms of the material we have to cover. I think we can we can um circle back. Um because it may it may just happen that we don't we don't happen to see many complex shapes. All right, here we got a bunch of pairs again, four pairs. Let me bring up the pairs panel. <laughs> four pairs greater than three pairs in a close in in a closed hand. It doesn't say anything about um, about four pairs in an open hand. <laughs> there's a there's a few missing spots in this uh, chart here. Oh, and Anui getting those um, getting those Dora Chun. Oh, getting Tempai. Okay, a Penchon weight, Penchon weight on the seven month. Let me um. Let me bring up the disgusting um, basic weight. <laughs> Just show this off. <laughs> I can't believe how terrible this is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I like how I did not notice this. So on the the um, one sided weight on the Kanmen block, I should say one sided weight on the Kanchan block. One sided weight on the Penchan block. Just the copy paste ruined me here. And in the example, I should say uh, eight nine waiting on seven. Maybe I shouldn't even show this. <laughs> Is it worse to show it than to not show it? I feel like it's worse to show it. <laughs> Are people going to be talking about con men for years now? It's going to become a thing. Well, um, you're just you just <laughs> might confuse people. Is my concern. Like if somebody, you know. There, there was it was just a typo in in yes. Bill's stuff. Yes. Uh, I don't know how how that typo happened exactly, but yeah, somehow instead of saying Kanchan and Penchan, I said Kanmen in both in both circumstances. <laughs> and so here's so here's another question. Mm -hmm. uh, God, I, stupid screen. Um, if you're looking at this hand, mm -hmm. this is an interesting hand where you ask, "What is the pair?" Right. Really depends on uh, how 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 it shakes out. You could draw two 
two so or three so. You could draw one so or four so. You could draw a south. Or you could um, draw next to one of the floating tiles. And um, you could just start dropping off um, from that two, two, three, three shape. Right. So you don't have you don't have to decide. Now ignore what Raisin's saying about cheat toy. This is, this hand's not going to be cheat toy. <laughs> Listen to everything Raisin says unless it's about cheat toy, because right. Raisin really wants to see me get cheat toy today. Um, yes, but any of them can become the pair. Like mm -hmm. don't don't lock in your head what something has to be until it literally has to be that thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like four pairs. Okay. Mm, mm. Now we got to. But oh, you didn't keep the Nakabuka day. We can't talk about Nakabuka day. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Should have talked about it when I had it last time. Okay. Drew next to the five. Anui is thinking about. So, did have the option of dropping the Souths and going for an All Simples hand, but kind of rough to do that. <laughs> I'm forcing Pinfu. <laughs> God, all of the oh, there's no baton. All of the one says are gone. One thing we didn't mention about the no baton is that you can get the no baton weight. Hold on, no, I I, I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> the no baton weight, which is a a, a two side a, a a combination tonki weight, a two sided tonki weight. So Anui previously had the six, seven, eight, nine, could end up waiting on the six and the nine if Anui completes all the other shapes but doesn't have a pair. Um, and in that circumstance, would just be waiting on just be waiting on a pair and would have the six, seven, eight, nine in hand. If the six is drawn, it would be six, six, seven, eight, nine. If the nine is drawn, it would be six, seven, eight, nine, nine. And that the the one side would be the pair, and then you'd have the run next to it. So that's what we call a nobaton weight, which is um uh, a weight of six tiles of two kinds. It's a little bit worse than a, a Dian Men weight. And actually is the, had the tiles are the same distance apart as a Dian Men weight, so it's kind of similar. But often you will not get Pinfu because of it. But it uh, does make the Nobaton a little bit better. Like we, we said previously, the Nakabukure gives you a really bad weight. The, the, the Nobaton gives you an okay weight. Gives you a, a, reason, a good weight. <laughs> not, not, a, not a bad one at all. Perfectly fine. Another pair? <laughs> I think we may have missed Cheetoy here, did we? Did we? The three pin. <laughs> well, there's there it is. <laughs> Should have listened to Raisin. Should have listened to him. Yeah, this is this is karmic justice, is what this is. <laughs> All right. What do we Disconnected have? players always kind of throw off <laughs> because they're discarded. They're just kind of sumagiri random right. tiles, and they add, they basically add another dead wall because they have a bunch of tiles that will never you'll never know what they are. So it adds some ambiguity, and um, and they could deal into anybody. So if you if you like you're a little bit helpless if you don't have if you have a bad hand. <laughs> Because that that disconnected player will just will just deal into anybody and then move it to the next round. Okay. Drawing some pin tiles here. We have this uh, triple plus one shape, the 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 the, the pinky shape, eight 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 nine, which uh, yeah, tanki plus uh, pinchon. So if that was the um, final weight and there were no pairs in the hand, you could get the uh, the seven eight weight, or the uh, hold on. <laughs> Uh, is that correct? What well, if this the, were the final the seven, wave and oh, there was no pair? You'd have the eight nine waiting eight, on the nine. seven, right? Or the pair of eights waiting on an eight, right? 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 It it's the same. Mm -hmm. 
it, it's the same whether this is eight 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 nine mm -hmm. or eight nine nine nine. Right. I think. Ooh, is, here's one. Yon Khan two four six. Yep. A very nice shape, and it, it's perfectly fine at this stage of the hand. There's a lot of bad shapes here, like there's a, the Penchon one two here. I mean, that's basically the only bad shape. But um, yeah, the 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 Dian Khan, uh, you could draw into it and get a complete run, or you could start, uh, or you could draw, say the the seven so, and upgrade that that uh, into a Dian Men and start dropping off this Penchon. So yeah, yeah. Did, did I misspeak on the uh, on the pinky weight? No, they were commenting on what I said. Okay. <laughs> oh right. God. Mm -mm. Right. So if you have a pinky like one 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 two, then you would be waiting on the two and the three, with the three being the penchon, the two being the tonki. Oh. If you have an eight 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 nine, you you get a pinky with a with a seven eight weight. The seven being the penchon, the eight being the uh, the tonki. Okay, we did draw the seven so. We ended up getting another penchon. <laughs> sort of, not really, because it's uh, next to the the kanchan two four. So it's kind of just a useless tile. Yeah, using using the wrong side of the. Uh... Are they more normally called Yantan, Kantan, and Pentan? I've never, I've never that heard that. That sounds better. <laughs> I picked it. I picked it up from you, mm. so I blame you for anything I say wrong. Hmm. Um. I think that I use the, the those terms are used in uh, RB one as the translation, aren't they? Um. I, unless I like, it may have been based because I because it may have been based on whatever um, whatever books in Japanese. They I, the the only the, I've only read um, Kanchan Penchan uh, written in Katakana. Wow, <laughs> this again, huh? Isn't like in in um, like in those. Um, in those what would you do problems i'm pretty sure i've seen the terms like penchan and, and stuff used i think i have hmm i'm gonna have to relearn it if um <laughs> oh boy we've already gotten spent so much time talking <laughs> am i am i totally incorrect about um there's there's too many multiple there's too many multiple terms for things like chitoi chitoitsu and um shampoo and shabu even in, even when you use the japanese terms there's multiple terms for it that is good to know <laughs> yeah but san menchan is do you, do you say san mentan <laughs> no but no part of that is a um no no part of that is a tanki oh Um. Oh, is that what Tan comes from? Yeah, the Pentan. <laughs> yeah, the Tan from Taki. Tan okay. Tan. Hmm. Yeah, I never had any idea what the, what uh, what what Chan meant. <laughs> but I, I I've I certainly have. Maybe it's maybe it's a term that used to be more commonly used. Ooh. Because um, in the books that, in the in the in the books that I've read, not, not that I've read a lot, but I've always seen I've always seen Penchon and Kanchon. But Penchon and Kanchon, those are correct. They're just mm -hmm. talking about the three plus one shapes. Oh, they're talking about like eight 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 nine or three four four four. Those are the ones that end in a ton. Um, the ton is correct for the you know like this is a 
Well, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm very this confused. is a Ryan Khan so or saying, just a Khan Khan. So instead of saying uh, Yankee, Kanki, Penki? Yes, that. We say uh, Diantan, Kantan, Pentan? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's less important because we don't even need to use these terms. <laughs> we can just say triple plus one. And these, yeah, are, and these are rarely used anyway. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that we've had my mind like reverse blown that I haven't been using Reverse so blown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mind was blown for a second. I think, have I been using the wrong terms for like a year? <laughs> I just never knew. Man, no one I'm ever out. told me. <sighs> okay. I, I... One... Four, six, seven, nine. So the weights are all named, like weights are named based on them being the mm. final thing you are waiting to complete in your hand. So a Rianmen we refer to as a shape and as a weight because that can be the final thing in your hand waiting to be completed. Mm. The one, four, six, seven, nine isn't special. Like that cannot be the final shape in your hand because. Mm -hmm. that's not a shape like it's not complete i'm pretty sure crisis cannibal is just uh trolling <laughs> with these questions it might not be but he also was asking <laughs> earlier about um where babies come from <laughs> <laughs> and we're I'd specifically waiting for man ryan though yes okay through the door there I I was folding. I don't. <laughs> You're not going to push here. I'll ch sure. I'll chi the the two peen. <laughs> I'm not just. I'm not discarding the six mon though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think we have. We we still haven't gotten a good example of some of these. I guess we have a, a skipping shape here with the one, three, four, five. And what RB1 yeah, that, that's, says... <laughs> that's technically a skipping shape. What RB1 says is that when you have the 1, 3, 4, 5, the 1 here is better than like an isolated 2, like an isolated uh, 2 so or 2 mon. The, the, the 1 is better than that because, for instance, if you drew the 6 pin, then you would have a 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. That 6 is basically upgrading the 1 into a kanchan because it's allowing the, the 1, 3 to be used as a kanchan. Um, so you can get it. You can get some some um, upgrades like that, uh, and I, I believe you could also like draw into the middle somewhere. Like there's a couple tiles you can draw that will allow you to use the one that otherwise you couldn't if it was just like a floating tile. So the skipping shape is a, a little bit useful. It's it's um, it's it's not that good, <laughs> but uh, if you have it's better than like other floating tiles, and it kind of gives you an extra shape in a sense. I can I can do one more match. Sure. Okay, let's do one more. Maybe we'll get some good examples. And yeah, definitely, like, if there's some stuff we didn't really get to cover that much, we can um, cover it when we're going over Chapter 4, because we're going to have a lot of time to... Like, Chapter 4 is, is a lot more about the um, building skills than it is about getting information and getting, like, um, definitions and stuff. So um, we'll have more time to kind of cover stuff and um, talk about these and, and go over the stuff again when it, as, it, as it comes up. But I think that, uh, yeah, chapter three lays a lot of groundwork, a lot of stuff to cover. And chapter three and four together, probably like, are you thinking about going for Kokshi? <laughs> I mean, I, this hand could still reasonably, be, reasonably become Chanta. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I, I, so. I haven't. I haven't decided whether I'm willing to call for it yet mm -hmm. or not, which is why I let that yeah. three mon go well, you, by. So you do have five uh, Chanta shapes here, so yeah, it does seem possible to get or Jun Chan. Yeah. So yeah, I could have called that, but then you that that was functioning as your pair. But at this stage, I'm not sure if um, it really matters that much, especially since you could draw any of your honor tiles as your pair. Maybe I just go Nagashi. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, there's the. Junshan draw. If you yeah, if you draw a, another West here, definitely. Um, I mean, it could either be uh, Yakuhai, 
Dorasan? Yeah. Or um, if I if I if I draw if I draw west, I'm just going for a normal hand for sure. Yeah. Well, okay. So here's the thing: is if you draw the west, but you never get another one, it would be nice to have the option um, to get something like uh, Chanta as a way to get Yaku and, and win the hand. Uh, given how close you already are to it. But it's, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> are you going for it? Yeah, three, three, nine, mon are discarded. See if I care. Okay, okay. Anui, more being a little bit here, as as one might say. <laughs> or um, or some some temporary mahjong insanity. Or just um, not taking not taking it that seriously, <laughs> but definitely I don't feel like um, there's when when Anui had that four five mon, I think at that point that kind of killed the idea of Chanta. That... I could have gone for Itsu. Oh, could you? Well, I mean, I had one two four five seven eight. Like I like you know. Oh, right, right. I guess so. Can I, question mark? But <laughs> I could have thought about it. I just want my hand to be worth something. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, this can be a 1, 2, 3 Sanchoku with a Doratanki. Like, that yeah. wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, and the, and the chances of drawing the Dora are not um, incredibly small. It may, I think that that's one thing, is that it may feel like the chances of drawing some particular tile are, are really small, but if you if you actually do have every every draw throughout the entire hand, there's going to be a significant chance, a non-zero chance that you will uh, that you will draw that tile. You're one of the through at some point in the game, in the round. And could get uh, oh yeah, Sanshoku one two three. Could happen. Did you mention that already? <laughs> I did, yeah. Um, I don't like this. Yeah, we don't really have any any complex shapes or anything here. We do have um, a lot of potential um, penchon weights. So there, there's a, a, a potential John Man weight on the seven eight, and then oh, just drew the, drew into that penchon weight. One two three. Mm, does that pass? Okay. Now in um in Ishan ten here. You can see counting the blocks, there's one, two, three, four, five blocks. I'm not I'm not in Ishan ten. Um I would have been Ishan ten if I had pulled the nine peen, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm giving up on on that. Wait, if you had to hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't have I didn't have a like, well, I guess I'm not discarding the West. Yeah, I That's... mean, <laughs> I, I was assuming you'd have to discard the West. Um, but I mean, that's still, still technically Ishan 10. No, yeah, I I didn't even, I so little considered discarding the West <laughs> that I did not even count that. So that's on right. me. You're right. Yes, but if you have, if you have, if you have five shapes and you have, um, and you have three complete blocks, <laughs> So like two runs in a pair, then they're going to be in Ishan 10. They just flipped the Dora. <laughs> Very nice. It's the least one. Oh my god, they're waiting on the five, so. <laughs> and it got conned. <laughs> All right. Well, all right. Got some nice some mon, mon shapes here. Got the um the run plus one shape six seven seven. The run is six seven. The one is the seven. The uh, one one three three is another run plus one shape. The run is one three. The one is three. Again, the west is Dora. <laughs> that one drew a triple. So we now we have the uh, the triple plus one, so, or the uh, the um, Kantan. <laughs> that sounds weird to me. The Kantan weight, or the triple plus one uh, complex weight. 
uh, on the, the one, two. So the one would be the Tanki, the two would be the Kanchan. If there's no pair in the hand and we get to Tenpai, you can have, you can get that one, two late. Mm -hmm. So at this point, uh, got five, got five shapes. Throwing away the uh, throwing away the Dora for efficiency. I guess this is kind of like technically five shapes. Um, I want to end up dropping that one from from the triple. See if we end up getting a a Nobaton or an Akabukure or anything here. I guess um, no 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 no. No, we don't have a skipping shape or anything. I think um could have dropped the one there and kept kept the seven as a as a floating tile. But um that does go against what we talked about earlier. That's that's um the basic efficiency is is just to keep the, the better shapes and the set and the floating shapes are considered the worst shapes. From our kind of basic perspective, we would keep well, the Kanchan over over any any floating shape. Yeah, any, well, any I mean it's tile. isolated. It's tile. weird because the um hmm. Hmm? now I'm gonna drop it. Like the the problem is there are pairs elsewhere in the hand. Mm -hmm. Like it might have still been better to discard the four so. But, jeez. <laughs> okay. Gonna get a uh, well. It can't be. It can't be show. It can't be a small dragon. Uh, small. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I wanted to say show sangen, but then I didn't because it's a Japanese word. Um, but I'll just say show sangen. It can't happen. Okay. Because <laughs> three of the Hatsu are discarded. It just ends up being a two Han hand. Yeah. Kind of hurts though in this East game. There's still time. All right, I think we yeah we don't really have anything here. We've just got um, some isolated tiles, some floating tiles, four and eight mon, and then the Dian Men six seven pin, pair nine pin, and then the uh, pair two two, and then the, the um, Dian Men three four, which can also be a, com a complete run two three four. It's dropping floating tiles. Is floating tiles worse than any 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 uh, shape you have in your hand. And again, like we're kind of uh, generalizing, take, looking at it at a basic level. Yanmen greater than uh, Kanchan, greater than Penchan, which is greater than an isolated tile. And um, and then you have these complex shapes, which can um, in certain situations, be a lot better than these basic shapes. Well, I think basically all of the um, all of the complex shapes that we talked about, except like the skipping shape, I guess, are better than like a like a Kanchan block. Yes, the uh, Dianmen can sometimes be better than uh, than like a Nakabukure or Nobutan if your hand is advanced enough. So we don't have like a universal um, universal chart that says which complex shapes are better than which basic shapes. <laughs> It'd probably be um, kind of pointless to do that. Got a bunch of pairs again. Having some pair centric games. Four pairs here. Would get Ipeko. And so this hand has um, six shapes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One of them a Kanchan block. So if um, if Anui drew like one of these um, run plus one shapes, like drawing a six pin, likely would get rid of that Kanchan seven so nine so. Uh, and even though I said there's four pairs, two of those pairs are in 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 runs, right? Two, two, three, four, four. So we can just think of this this hand as having uh, two pairs, which is the ideal number, right?
bringing up the pair panel again. This closed hand, two pairs greater than one pair, four pair greater than three pairs, and we have two pairs. These are not these pairs in the, in the middle don't count. We might just draw a three so have the we wouldn't have any pairs at that point, right? It'd be, it'd be two three four two three four. It is possible that you could use the four so as the pair, um, and end up on a one four weight where half half of the fours are gone, like the half dead uh, yon men weight. If um, if you ended up like calling the Souths and like drawing another nine pin or something and just not having any pairs, you can end up on that one four weight by dropping the two. Oh, I ended up drawing into the into the Ipeko actually. I went away from um, from an Ipeko, not Pinfu because South is is our uh, our site seat bend. It would be a, a Richie Ipeko, assuming there's a Richie. <laughs> and instead, um, didn't quite reach Tenpai because people are going a little crazy. Someone else won on their seat wind. Yeah, the, the West wind then, yeah. Ooh. All right. This is pretty. pretty. Nice. Yeah, a lot of uh, Yan Men shapes here. Four, five, four, five, eight, eight. One, two, three, two, three. So, um, mm. yeah, unfortunately, this... all of the value is in the worst shape, the Kanchan 5 7. There's two Dora there, and it's the worst shape that you'd most like to drop. Um, <laughs> and instantly completing. So, um, yeah, Anui is faced with a choice here of um, dropping the dropping the value from the hand for um, it, it. It would still be a valuable hand. It would still be um, Pinfu, maybe Peko, and there is still a chance of uh, using that five that five so. Yeah, there. I kept the five so over the seven mm -hmm. because of the opportunity to get a three four five Sanshu. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I could have I could have kept a Rian Khan as well, but if I draw the one so I'm perfectly happy with Richie mm -hmm. Pinfu Peko. Right. So I'm kind of leaving the most Yaku open. Right. And this is a, yeah, it's an extremely fast hand. And even though we talked about how it's like really unfortunate that um they that all the Dora were in the worst shape, it's still totally fine to win on a on a on a pinfu hand, like a, a Richie Pinfu hand as dealer, can be quite valuable. Even even one more Han is a pretty significant value. Um and, I, and actually why don't I bring up um while we're talking about score, why don't I bring up this basic uh, score? And maybe I should actually um make a, a more advanced version of this that we can talk about in the future because we're probably gonna have time to, to discuss that. And I don't feel like I don't know if, if we really want to um have like an entire stream focused on score because it might be kind of boring but yeah here's the basic score so if you're the dealer one han is 1500 two han is 3000 three han 6000 so getting up to three han gets you up, get doubles your score from 3000 to 6000 it's a very big jump and again these are very simplified scores <laughs> obviously it, uh, the, the scores are not going to be exactly equal to this a lot of the time but just broadly speaking and and also if you do reach your pinfu as dealer, you, you can very easily get to four han as well. If you um if you get an ura, if you sumo and get an ura, or you get two ura, or you get ipatsu, ipatsu and sumo, ipatsu and ura, like it's not especially likely, but it can certainly happen, and certainly does happen to get that four han and get and go from um go from the two han the base two han three thousand points if you just got just reach plus pinfu to four times as much twelve thousand. So um yeah. Richie Pinfu as as dealer, perfectly good. Can be a lot of value there. And also like the possibility of getting Ipeko and other stuff, like you can also get more Han that way. So a lot of potential in this hand, even without the door. The door were not really strictly necessary. Kind of okay to drop them if it helps complete the hand. <laughs> This is kind of silly. Yeah, it's taking actually a very long hand, long time to complete this hand. I would have thought that they uh, rounded the over by now. 
Uh, oh, take it, Uradora. Um, let me bring up a a, a, tile, a, a panel from from last time. Um, let me see if I can find it. I think it's under miscellaneous here. Uh, does it say Ura here? Oh, yes, yes. If you call Richie, you can get hidden door hidden Dora called Uradora. So the only way that you can get Uradora is if you call Richie, and in that case, when you win, um, there'll be a hidden uh, Dora indicator. And if you and if you get the tile to the, to the right of that, then um, you'll get Dora for that as well. So that's another benefit to to Richie. Owen just uh, denied the uh, Nakabukure day because the hand is so far advanced that you don't does isn't really needed. Um, you would tend to to take the the Nakabukure or the Nobutan if you're kind of lacking good shapes because it has so much flexibility. And I hope I answered the question about about Ura, if I if I understood correctly. <laughs> and feel free to to ask these basic questions because I still have all these uh, panels from from earlier, and um, happy to 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 answer them while we're um while we're going over later stuff. The fact that this hand, I mean, I was Ishanten on turn two. Mm -hmm. This is silly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this happens sometimes. Okay, here's a, here's a Nobaton. Um, has some? Yeah, people are way open. Um, yeah, I wonder. It may have been good to uh, at some point earlier have gotten rid of this five. So, <laughs> but we can't. Of course, can't know that it's going to go. Um, going to go this long without getting into Tempai. That was absolute garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, sometimes you get a really good starting hand and then all your draws are terrible. Sometimes you get a really terrible starting hand and all your, your draws are good. Like, usually it's somewhere in the middle, but um, it can happen that way as well. The one Bam. Bam does, is Bam um, Mon? Is that... Uh... Hold on. What is Bam? That's, that's the European term, right? Can someone tell me? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, I have no idea. Or Kauri, can you tell me what does what 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 does bam mean? Bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I like I've heard that before, but I totally forgot that bam was bamboo. I don't know why I thought it was like mon or something. Like, yeah, it's obviously bamboo. So it would be. I was thinking of it. Are like, you? Are you talking about on the last hand, Calorie? I think it was the last hand. Yeah, the the last hand had a a ton of potential for other Yaku other than Tanyao mm -hmm. that are better than Tanyao. So that's mm -hmm. that's what happened. That's what yeah. was going on on the last hand. Uh, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, if I think if Anui had known that they would have gone the whole hand without getting a single good tile. Maybe like getting rid of honor, getting rid of terminals, and trying to open up would have been a good good approach. But but who who could have guessed that <laughs> the draws would be so terrible? Um, yeah, I mean, when when you start out in Ishan Ten, you don't really think that you're going to need to open. Would you Would you really have gone for? Oh God. Um... <laughs> I think it does. It does make sense. I mean. I on the last hand, I don't think it makes sense to go for Tanya. Honestly, if I mean, if you could, I mean, if you could chi the the six, though, I think it would make sense. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I mean, but if but if you like, all, all you needed was to um, to get any kind of reasonable draws, and you could have reached and gotten a huge um, huge payout. Or at least a at least a reasonable payout, maybe not huge, but there's a, there's a chance for a huge payout. So oh, this is this is East Four. All last uh, we're about to we're about to be uh, ended here. So if there's any questions, it's the time to ask because I think we're about to end the stream. Ugh. <laughs> is this going to be another? Is this going to be another 
<laughs> PS last place. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's these it's these these learning streams. They're 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 blessed for the viewers, but cursed for Anui. <laughs> wow, that was garbage. Oh well, it's fine. I didn't even I didn't even have anything. I couldn't even smell a Sankansu, which is the reason I'm playing an East Rim to begin with. But oh well. All right, so I guess that's going to be it for us. So yeah, so thanks everybody for joining us. We actually got a lot of people to show up, which, which I'm, I'm happy about. We'll we'll continue to cover um, chapter four, and I think we'll skip chapter um, chapter five and chapter six and and cover defense or something. Um, but yeah, we'll continue to cover Richie book one, and uh, yeah. hope you'll join us again. And um, any any final questions before we end? A, or, a final thought while people are potentially typing final questions. Mm -hmm. um, the American Ruchi Mahjong League will be streaming in about 15 to 20 minutes. So I will be commentating that with Korak. Mm -hmm. So if y'all want to see some... And we're going to be watching some pretty pretty good players. So I would hop over to that if you get a chance. Right. And I will make sure to do a raid. I have a bad habit of forgetting to do that. But yeah, I'll make sure to raid somebody. Okay, and I don't think we have any questions. Yeah, yeah go, go and watch uh, the RML games. It'll be fun. Um, but let me see here. I'll need to pull up. Um... Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and duck out while you okay. look at while you look things up. So have a good okay. one, y'all. All right. Yeah. Thanks everybody for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and find someone to raid, and uh, I think next week we'll cover uh, chapter four. Not sure exactly what day. Maybe it'll be this. Maybe it'll be Wednesday again. When 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 I when I cut my stream off. You're you're not going to have a picture anymore, so you might want to change that. Okay, okay, okay. But deuce, deuces, friends. Okay, there we go. All right. Let me see here. Um, it looks like Overlord Whale is on. I don't see anybody else on. Overlord, I, I prefer to 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 raid someone who maybe doesn't normally get that many, but um. Mm -hmm. This will be fine. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've already done the race. <laughs>